two school communities right now facing tough times, each dealing with the deaths of teenagers from different accidents. The Fayetteville Manlius School District helping students there deal with the loss of a classmate, Liam McGuire, a junior who died after riding a skateboard as he was pulled by a moving car. Fulton Schools losing 17-year-old Riley Partlett in a crash on State Route 48 last evening. And a second teenager from the accident is in critical condition at the hospital. News Channel 9's Iris St. Moran starts our coverage on how this is not just impacting the Fulton School District, but the entire community. The flag at G. Ray Bodley High School in Fulton is at half-mast as the school processes the death of 17-year-old Riley Bartlett. But it's not just the school district impacted, but the entire community. Many of us know each other and news travels fast. And, you know, regardless if we know them or not, it's still very, very difficult. On Sunday, Bartlett and her passenger, 16-year-old Brady Niver, were traveling north on Route 48 when her 2010 Dodge Journey entered the southbound lane just after 5.30 Sunday evening. Her vehicle hit a car traveling in the southbound lane. This occurred between Wilcox and Wybron Streets. The sheriff's office says the passengers in that car were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Bartlett was pronounced dead at the scene, and Niver was transported to Upstate Hospital and is in critical condition. I can't imagine. I'm a mother. I can't imagine what those families are going through, and we are just... Um, we're heartbroken and there's no other words for it. The district notified families its crisis response team will have counseling available. The mayor pledging Fulton support. Whatever we can do and we don't know what that looks like. You can't really plan for an event like this and you just, we're just going to have to be responsive as we go through this and as the community needs will be changing throughout this, uh, we'll be there to be res responsive to that. A vigil is planned here at the high school at 7. Riley's family asks that everyone wear pink to honor her. In Fulton, Iris St. Moran, News Channel 9.